This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me today is Joe Delgado. He's the co-founder and executive vice president of sales at Moving Image Technologies. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is MITQ on the NYC American. And you can actually see MITQ present at our upcoming in-person investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase, happening May 3rd through the 5th, 2022 at Bally's Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. For more information to register and see their presentation, please go to planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Joe, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Doing well, Robert. Appreciate you uh, taking the time. We're uh, we're excited about seeing everybody live and in person. Uh, and you mentioned we we're at uh, Bally's. Uh, we were at CinemaCon uh, the week prior to that, next week, uh, right across the uh, strip over at Caesars. But it was Bally's where the original CinemaCon was when it was called Show uh, West. Oh, so okay. I'm very familiar with the space, and I look forward to seeing everybody there. Oh, very good. So we're going to have you at the front. You can direct everybody where they can. I, I, I can. You, you're okay you. with that? Okay, good. I, I, can, I, I do the greeter <laughs> thing. Good stuff. Well, Joe, th this is our first time doing an interview together, and first one you know, uh, for moving image technologies that, that I've done. So can you start us off with a quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. So we were founded uh, back in 2003, and we're all – cinema technology uh, veterans. I was uh, vice president of sales at Christie uh, from uh, 88 to uh, 2003, which was the founding of Moving Image Technologies, uh, along with my co-founders, Bevan Wright uh, and David Richards, both uh, engineers. And uh, we thought that um, we had a really great opportunity when the industry was gonna transition from 35 millimeter analog film to digital projection. Uh, and that was a big transition, huge worldwide. And we felt that it was kind of a once in a lifetime thing. So we took a bunch of really talented folks and decided that uh, we were gonna give the industry uh, some of the state of the art, best of the best, um, equipment, services, platforms. And I think, uh, I think we're, we're there. So what would you say makes the company unique and different, maybe compared to some of your peers out there that maybe also saw the, the digital revolution happening and thought, okay, we got to, let's get the picks and axes ready to go in order yeah, to enable yeah, us. Absolutely. For, you know, we are, we're unique and, and, you know, we, we take kind of a hybrid approach to, uh, technology and uh, platforms and services. Whereas a lot of companies uh, kind of focus on just manufacturing or just services, just software. You know, we, we encompass uh, all of those things and integrate. So we've been, we've been able to find uh, our space in this market uh, by being that kind of a hybrid offering, right? So we do a lot of our, our engineering. We have a suite of about 45 products in our catalog. And when you take the derivatives of those products, it, it equates to you know, kind of you know, close to 200 uh, products all in all. We do a lot of custom fabrication. And then of course, we're big resellers of the big brands, right? Like uh, Barco, Christie, Sony, uh, NEC on the projection side. We're also the only company in North America that has done the latest display technology, which is direct view LED. So we have done uh, Sony direct view LED installations. We've done Samsung direct view installations. Uh, and we're currently finishing uh, a, a project here in Buena Park in Orange County with LG. So, you know, we, we tend to be uh, not just, you know, risk takers, but we tend to be ahead of the technology curve. So that, that gives us a lot of education and the ability to help our customers going forward with, with the newer technologies, right? When, when digital projection came out back in, in 2003, 2004, 2005, we were literally training up 
the infrastructure for engineers and technicians. Uh, we probably ran about 200 guys through our training course uh, free of charge. Uh, but we felt that was a, an incredibly important component to the ecosystem for digital projection going forward. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff that we've been doing like that over the years. And now that we are public and we've got some pretty solid financial wind in our sails, we're looking forward to executing our plan um, and really excited about the future. Very good. And you already mentioned most of your background here, here today. So, you know, I'm going to go my next question then, you know, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2022? Uh, we're emphasizing a lot of our uh, reoccurring revenue products, our SaaS products, like uh, CityQC, QC, which is a quality assurance operations uh, resource management platform. Uh, and that, uh, that actually does very well. That's going to do very well in cinema, but that will travel into other industries, right? Uh, our caddy product, which is, for lack of a better term, our cup holder business. So when somebody goes to any arena, whether it be Major League Baseball, the NFL, uh, the NHL, a lot of the minor league parks, Probably 80% of those stadiums have our products. When you set your beverage down or you set your food down, it is probably going to be on a caddy product. We are taking that as a touch point and uh, going towards a digital platform. Um, details to ensue, but you have a lot of synergies with what we're doing with Cine QC, Control QC, and what we want to do with the, the digital caddy product. Uh, that is being worked on right now. Um, also, the newest technologies and display, like I said, the LED direct view, which will eventually in uh, the midterm, the, 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 the near midterm future, you're going to start to see a lot of replacement for digital projection with direct view uh, LED. We've also got a fantastic partnership where we're the sole integrator for a lot of e-gaming in cinema, using the, the cinema facility itself for esports and e-gaming. We're very excited about that. We're gonna, we're gonna have a significant portion of our trade show booth at CinemaCon next week dedicated to that. So those are just a few of the things that we're really excited about. Very cool. And Joe, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on moving image technologies? If you can, you can find us at our website, movingimagetech.com, right? And um, we really are looking forward to seeing everybody now in person in Vegas uh, at Valleys. Very cool. Well, Joe, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I'll see you in Vegas. Robert, thank you. Thank you.